Episode, episode three. number three of I Talks by the Day, There you go. That's the one. That's the one, boy. So we're going to be reviewing <coughs> episodes six to ten yep. this week. So if you're good at maths. Like quick maths. Five episodes. That is five episodes yep. the whole week. Including six and including ten. Yeah. So if you're new to this podcast, yep. uh, pretty much what we're going to do is we're going to just wrap up uh, each episode individually. Um, with a few different segments here and there that we make up along the way. Work in progress. And then pretty much our thoughts on the entirety of the, the episodes, on different Everything. couples, on pretty much any drama that went, went down. And any questions that were on our YouTube channel, YouTube or, channel email or email or anything. Yeah. I don't think I was last time I checked the emails, but... There were some emails. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see if they make the cut. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right, jumping straight into it. So, um, thoughts on the, the week in general, mate? Pretty good week, I think. Really the, good. The drama, the drama's, the drama's yeah. building, mate. <clears throat> I feel like they brought out like the the big drama machines out early. Yeah, they have. Truth they? Bike. Uh, what was the other one? Truth Bike came out uh, very early this time. I think last season he came compatibility out. Compatibility test as well. Yeah, but yeah, compatibility test. Truth. Uh, it's really truth by last season he came out like late 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 uh, yeah really late late game but this is like early game shit as well I don't know why maybe the maybe the islanders are getting along together too long yeah yeah there's That's enough drama right. or something yeah yeah no so yeah I, I thought it was a, overall quite a, quite a good week uh, last time we made a mistake there wasn't 12 islanders there, yeah, was, 13. there was 13 islanders and right That's now it. there is let me guess there's 13 <laughs> islanders again this time if my maths is wrong I just, just, just cannot. I'm just gonna let blame, you roll with it, mate. Blame Channel Nine for having odd numbers. Agreed. Thoughts. Thoughts. Uh, uh, All right. First. No, wait. Rating this week out of thirteen. All right. Rating out of thirteen. Um, I think it was a good week. I would say ten. Yeah, I was. I was about to say ten as well, but uh, just to be different, I've got nine point seven five. Nine point seven. Great. Yeah. Just so an average of nine point nine. Nine. Whatever. Nine. You guys do the maths. <laughs> yeah. Right. Some of that. All right. Episode six. Straight into it. Um, the first recoupling of the season. The first recoupling of the season. Earlier yeah, on the episode, it. Adam and Kaki had their first kiss, mate. Did they? They did. They did, because I watched the episode. Oh, you watched the episode? Yeah, it was sort of like, I don't know, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that happened. Um, was, it, whole... was it while they were coupled up or while they were not? Yeah, while they were coupled up. I'm pretty sure they coupled up. Yeah, okay. Um, did the whole Maurice scandal happened as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, the, With the um, Love Island Times comedy. Yeah, That's Love Island so Times. Like, yeah. What? Just to cause drama they're sending and shit. Yeah. Yeah. I Fair feel enough. like they knew it was a bit slow last yeah. week. There wasn't enough spice. Yeah, because everyone was talking about the more interesting thing they had to like bring it up. Yeah. Oh, it's just going to be like, yeah. weird. Yeah, exactly. Um, Sam and Vanessa, oh, earlier on in the week about the drama with Sam. Yeah. Uh, no spoilers, X Islander. No, yeah, no spoilers. X Islander. I was like, who that was Sam? I was like, oh, it's yeah. uh, No, thinking about him, he's probably the most memorable first contestant. You, like, from the oh, from season. getting yeah, from yeah. getting eliminated first, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like last season it was what <clears throat> I had to look him up. It was Charlie last year. Was Charlie the first to go last? Last year was first to it was go. Was the footy rugby yeah, player? He was. He was, was he first. Shit. He was the first to go. Like our ages. And in England, when it was Callum. Yeah, yeah Callum, Callum. Like, like, but he didn't get any screen time. Both, Char- like both Charlie and Callum didn't do much at all in the villa. That's and true. Sam did a lot. Yeah. Like, well, a lot in a week or something. And that was good, but yeah, all right. What happened next, day? Just... Um, yeah, so pretty much the whole Sam was gunning for Vanessa, and then um, Matt was pretty much saying, like, oh, yeah, he's got some cojones on him. Yeah. That's like the 400th time he said that, by the yeah. way. Um, then they had the <laughs> compatibility, compatibility test with Vanessa and Sam being the most compatible. Yeah. Interesting drama. Would you have picked Sam or Matt? If I was if you're, Vanessa. Yeah, if you're Vanessa. Probably Sam. Is that because you like Sam as a person? Probably. Okay, yeah, alright. At that point in time. Yeah. Yes. Okay, yeah. But I don't know. There's things we don't see, so. That's right, yeah. Um, and then the whole recoupling ceremony, mate. Yeah. So, 
You want to go through okay, the, uh, the, the new pissed, couples? What pissed me off was... Um, okay, let's go with the couples first. We had Anna and... Anna and Jared. Jared. At the start of the week. That seems uh, like... Yeah. <laughs> that's it. It feels so weird to like, say that. Uh, um, Phoebe and Cass. Phoebe and Cass. Big, big news out of that one. What, what pissed me off was... Sophie be like, oh, did not see that. Oh, coming. that's what I was, I was like. Oh, yes, you, you oh, definitely back did. off, Soph. I'm pretty sure you've seen the episodes with us. You've seen the tweets. You've seen everything. You're like, oh, that caught my surprise. Yeah, so she was like shocked. I was like, no, like, come on. Move out of the way. I found I that pretty cringy. That yeah. Oh, yeah, that was, like, Get off that was a big cringe moment, that one. Yeah. Jesse and Owen, Vanessa and Matt, Katia and Adam and Cynthia and Maurice. I don't want to see any hate on Cynthia for picking Maurice because... If I was in Cynthia's shoes, send for the haters, man. I would pick Maurice as well because not <clears throat> not she because wants to stay in. no, you know she could have picked Sam as well to stay. In. She was staying in either way. Oh, for that moment. Oh, that's yeah. right. Yeah, of course. I I agree. Because <clears throat> no matter how shit of a person Maurice is, he he showed interest in Cynthia and he actually talked to her, while Sam did nothing. From what we saw, yeah, they didn't have any conversation. So why would you couple up with someone? From. Who doesn't talk to you? Who doesn't like give you an attention? Well, the whole thing was is couple up <clears throat> on a friendship, on a friendship basis. basis and find someone yeah. who comes in to the villa, yeah. or give this current one a go. Yeah, no matter how cheap a person Maurice is, he actually just made the commitment, made made an effort to actually like get Somewhat, to know yeah. Cynthia, get Cynthia some screen time at least. Yeah, he did that at least. And yeah, I'm happy she coupled up with. I like. I knew it was coming. I was still like upset because <coughs> I really liked Sam. I like. Um, I had. Yeah, I, had like a, uh, I had thoughts on Sam. I don't know if it's good thoughts or bad thoughts. I was just like. He was sort of like someone that I was like, I don't know which way I'm gonna go with. Yeah. If I'm gonna really like him or not really. I like feel like him. he could have tipped very easy. Yes. To the Same. Douchebag. But I feel like he was. Or. I feel like he was. A, seemed to be a nice bloke, and like all the like I've seen a lot of videos after he. Yeah. Left. I don't know. I, I, I seem, he seems to be a very humble down earth uh, guy. So. Yeah, right. He's a DJ. Yeah, he's a DJ. Get around him. Yeah. But um, yeah, so that's pretty much all that happened that's in the first step. Of first step. So we're going to go into more detail about our, our thoughts later on in with the, different yeah. couples and different events that happened throughout the week. In the discussion. In the section. discussion. All right, second app. Uh, the new guys arrived. Yeah. So the, tw- the twins arrived. Twins. So what were your initial thoughts, mate, on the, on the old twins? Initially, I was just like... straight off. <clears throat> just straight off, I'm like, oh, no. Another bunch of guys that are... A couple of guys that are exactly the same as everyone in the house in the villa. Yeah. Like, literally. Him, those two, Owen, maybe Matt. Matt uh, I don't even know. Everyone but Maurice, because Maurice... Maurice is, and Jared. I Maurice like Jared's and maybe like... Adams. No, Adams is pretty similar as well. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. Uh, maybe Maurice and Jared. They're the same guy. It's just all right. Yeah. I had no thoughts. I was like, all right, yeah. Why do they always... They Every single... I think it's just to add drama, obviously, but every single new... Especially guys, they make them look like the biggest dickheads. When they come in. But, like, with their, like, preview... Yeah. Like, oh, man. But, oh, after that, I was like, yeah, they're, they're not too bad. Yeah. They're pretty decent guys afterwards, yeah. They, they get a good laugh, so... Yeah. Yeah, I thought it's the same. Um, and then the whole... Phoebe and Cass. Yeah, we we go about we, situation. We go which more we'll into go detail, into more into detail because I feel like there's a lot to talk about. Yeah. But I felt for Phoebe. I felt for Phoebe. That right. episode. I wish I wish you me. Um, made. I'll say my thoughts From later your on. Facial reaction because as you guys can the see. Third episode. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, third episode. Adam and Katia first date. Ah, oh, yeah, that, that was that was good. That was good. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Uh, that was a good episode. Uh, that was a pretty. It was a good episode. episode. Was a we didn't remember what happened. Yeah, it. it was a pretty boring episode, I thought, apart from the strip tease as well. Oh yeah, it was the, a strip strip tease. the strip tease. The strip tease came in late last season as well. Like yeah, in the in in the England Love Island, like you came in late. as yeah, well. Yeah, that's the one I thought. Jeez, that's the one. That came in when, like Francesca was in it. They um, must have some new games lined up, I think, mate. Hopefully, good ones. Yeah, that was a good game for the end game. As Literally, well. but yeah, no. Nah, uh, Adam and Cartier, yeah, that's one of the better dates they've had in Love Island, I think. Yeah. Or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it was funny to watch too. Um, who was the best strip teaser? Who was the one that you're like. Uh, for me, if I, if I was one of the girls. Yeah. I don't know, man. Probably probably Adam, I guess. Right. He was no, funny. No, I the would other go, guys were like, oh, what? doing anything. Who was 
I can't remember. It was Luke or was it Josh? I'm sure it was Josh. Oh yeah, isn't the, it? the police guy. The police guy the police nailed guy. that. Yeah, my man. It was yeah, the best. Man. Yeah, the police guy. Yeah, I go for the. Which police one guy. was it though? I think it might have been Josh. Josh, isn't it? I think it might have been Josh. I don't know. No, anyway, but yeah. I was like, damn, he's going to work. Yeah. Like, and then Jesse as well. Yeah. yeah Jesse handcuffed him. Handcuffed him. And really, that was oh, funny. Yeah. And then uh, they went to the hideaway that episode. Oh, yeah. That's, that's right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That was uh, interesting. I guess that, we can talk about that now because it's not really that yeah, much. Like, that hideaway was good. I like, that, I like the hideaway yeah. too. It's much better than the UK one because it's actually a different house. I was talking to some people about it and we all agree that like the UK one seemed to be like a bit of like a porn set. Like it was yeah. like really like dim lights and like it yeah. just had that weird sexual vibe about it. Well, this one's sort of like chill, chill but like still resort, really yeah. ro- like romantic type yeah. setting. Yeah, go, go to the hideaway, the least romantic guy ever. Yeah, oh god. Where Which, go, so where how go? do you <sighs> how do you deny someone who is wearing lingerie like that yeah. and is all over you and you're like, yeah, I might just go to sleep. Did he deny? He literally said like, "Did you not like?" Yeah, I know. But he's I, like, "Oh yeah, do you want me to? Do you want to get into something more comfortable?" I got like spare oh, jocks. Yeah, oh, sorry. what the hell, man? Like, how can you say that, especially to Jessie? Yeah. When she's wearing that like <clears throat> sexy outfit for a reason, you know. She had a jacket with her name on. Yeah, I that's realized pretty, that. Like, what, I didn't know that. Where are you from? What? Uh, what's that from? I don't know. <laughs> like a dart team or something? Dart. Movie set. Yeah, movie set. There you go. <laughs> um, movie set. Movie set. Mm. <laughs> All right. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I thought that was pretty pretty bad from oh, one in oh, that one. Yeah. He has the one chance, and all he does is like, yeah, I got a, I got a good sleep. <laughs> I love how he was like talking about it to all the guys. He's yeah. Like, yeah, the sleep was good. And all the yeah. guys like, oh, yeah. yeah. Did anything you want? Oh, yeah. yeah and the, and the guys are like, oh. Oh, what a fucking He's dude. the most free, really, uh, not re- least romantic guy. Yeah. Um, yeah. I felt, yeah, I felt pretty bad. <clears throat> yeah. What's to happen on the next pretty episode? Pretty bad. All right, episode four. Matt and Vanessa drama. We need to go into that in more details. Yeah, that's that is definitely like one of the, the big the big talking points the of the week. The big corners of this week. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> that and the, the whole Phoebe cast. Phoebe the cast two, thing, The yeah. big things and happen. The, I've got some stuff on Adam and Cartier as well. And then yeah. recoupling, Phoebe gone. Uh, what are your thoughts on on her leaving over Jared? They made it like they made it look like Jared was gone for sure. They're all like, yeah, no, Jared's been in here. For, he's, he's had his go. I think this is a setup. Because they had four couples, and oh, okay, that's another point. The first point is all the people that are, that would have voted, voted for Vanessa uh, for Phoebe couldn't vote, couldn't vote. Yeah, <clears throat> Anna, uh, Cassie, Cassie, and yeah. the two new guys. Yeah. Um, well, that's always happened though. That's always been the thing where you can't vote if you're a new yeah, couple. Yeah, but I mean, Cassie and Anna definitely would have voted Jared, yeah. off, especially because Anna and Jared's history, yeah. and Cassie and Jared's history. Yeah. Not like it was bad history, but, yeah, like, but they, yeah. he's, he's pretty much had his goal. Yeah. Um, but they could have easily tied it. That's true. I'm pretty sure they're smart enough to know you can tie it, but the producers were like, nah, no, 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 you it. have to come you up with a decision. To, yeah. yeah, that would have been like they probably would. Whoever like the last couple was probably yeah. would have been like, you have to. You have to set this. Pretty guy. much do so, this. Yeah. But, I don't um, know. I mean, that that seems kind of shit. But to be honest, I would have. Neither of them should have left. I felt like both yeah. of them should have stayed, but. Tough times, man. To be honest, I feel like Jared <clears throat> adds more to the villa. That's why I feel like they might just... If they force someone to stay, I feel like that's why. Yeah. Because Phoebe sort of, like, after the whole drama with Cass, it was just, like, dead Down, mind. yeah. And the thing is... she had no sexual chemistry with anyone else, and yeah. it was like, she's not doing anything. How off, like, what are the chances you she'll find someone who she has sex Exactly, and then... Someone coming up. As we know, the next people that come in is all women. All but, women, I mean, obviously, yeah. well, that could be... The, the producers knew that as well. But, yeah. So, yeah. so, they're like... They need to get off a, a lady, I think. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, we're pretty much saying they've set that whole thing up. But if not, yeah. like, yeah, 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 good on everyone. Good on, on yeah. Phoebe. There you go. <laughs> I don't know. I was sort of. If anything, I was. I was happy. I wasn't happy. I was I like, know. I like Jared. So I like Jared as well, but I want Phoebe to say, I don't know why. Yeah, that's fair. I don't know, maybe because we have different opinions on things. Yeah. Anyway, uh, moving on. Uh, <laughs> episode last episode, the whole. Uh, the truth bike. The truth bike. The late game. Um, and Vanessa me. and Buddy and uh, Matt, Matt Moore drama. Matt Moore drama coming in. Christ. Um, Sucking blow. 
suck oh, I end the sucking blow challenge at the end with Mar- with Maurice having a, having a crack with every lady. My man Maurice. Getting in there now, mate. Well, he can before he gets probably eliminated sometime soon. Yeah. Well, now this girl's coming in. He's probably not going to get eliminated for another. That's right. Two weeks. <clears throat> I don't know, is, is it going to be like Castro or more? Are they going to send Yeah, see, it sounds like like that many what? people. They, they, I've never seen that happen there's, before. There, there's never going to be enough space in a villa for what? Five other females. Especially. Mm. That's what? That's three more couples. Yeah. Especially with Jared being by himself as well. <laughs> oh, poor Jared. You ship, are you shipping Jared and Cynthia? I don't, yeah. Jared does not look interested at all. Yeah, though. why not? In that last episode, like, she was like, oh, yeah, have you got any more interests on anyone else? And she's like, uh, yeah, maybe. And he's like, yeah. oh, yeah. Did, did she say maybe? No, she was, I'm pretty sure, oh, I don't know if that was the exact word, but she was pretty much saying, like, yeah, I guess I do. So, yeah, if, if Jared and Cynthia do happen, Jared's been with... Uh... <laughs> Nearly every female. <laughs> Bar, yeah, Bar, Cassie, Vanessa. Phoebe and Cynthia and Jesse. Jesse and Vanessa, he hasn't... Yeah, Jesse and Vanessa. It's the only ones he hasn't. Yeah. Oh, so it pissed me off how... Uh, at the start of the, start of the week, it pissed me off how Matt was like, we're the king and queen of this villa. I'm like... Literally, I kept saying, yeah. I'm like, why the fuck does he keep saying that? You're not. No one... No one, no has, one thinks this. No one has taken that throne yet. Maybe Adam and Cartier have. Now they have. Now right? they have. Now they have. <clears> yeah. But at not... the start of the week, they were a new couple, so... Yeah, but Vanessa and Matt had no point <laughs> no in the point. whole season. You just knew with their personalities they would clash they would as well. Clash, yeah. Like, it was just coming. Yeah. But, but, anyway, yeah. All right, well... That was the week That was in summary. That was a week in summary, not. Yeah. So we're, we're going to uh, break across to a different segment. Well, it was the same segment as last week. Tweets of the week. Tweets it's of the week. Brought to you by Combat Bank and their technical difficulties this week. <laughs> that happens... Comet Bank, Comet Bank. bringing out the big box to sponsor JR Podcast. You can go to Comet Bank right now. They're up and online. Definitely not a sponsor. They're yeah, definitely a sponsor. Has a bank ever sponsored anything before? Yes, they did. Look, JR Podcast. Right yeah, type it in, man. What you want? I Comet Bank. All right. I've only got two... Tweets. Tweets this week. Nice work, darling. Made it put the effort in I know, week. yeah. A lot of effort put in for me. <laughs> Actually, I tweeted out. I tweeted out at the start of the week. You can follow us on Twitter at... What is it, Dali? Podcasts. Yep. JR. On Twitter. There on Twitter. Um, but all, the, all, the, all that deeds will be in the description as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, Richard has put out a poll saying, how will Maurice react, react to... Oh, that's right, yeah. Him getting roasted. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, oh, with the, the, the news. The, the line, the Love Island Times. Yeah. So I put a poll on. Um, and the results are in. <laughs> there was 21 votes. Woo! Big and money. the options were A, be respectful and confess, or B, be a dick and make excuses. You meant 21,000, right? Yeah. 21,000, yeah. yeah there you the go. votes, so, yeah. yeah, definitely. I think the. Let me well, have, a well, have, have a guess at the percentage, right? 76 to 21. That doesn't make sense. No. 76 <laughs> to 21. <laughs> 76 to 24. Very close. 26% to 24%. To who? Uh, to B. Being a dick. Yeah. It was 86 to 14. Oh, Big. Man. <laughs> oh, man. Do you know what I think he handled it all yeah. right. I mean, no. He no, just didn't go into no. it. He just he, avoided no, it at he all didn't handle costs. It. He didn't get enough questioning from yeah, the guy. Everyone sort of like... Was, he was such a leg. It was just like, all right. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> what is it like? What is it going to just stop laughing? Uh-huh. <laughs> I knew this would come out. Uh-huh. It was nothing. It was, it was nothing. nothing. Yeah. Meanwhile, his real, like, his ex girlfriend, I think, Christine, Christine, Christina. Yeah, whatever. She was like, oh, she said they've been dating, so. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to think about so that whole said, thing. She said, she said. Didn't, they didn't <clears> brush over it, like. They brushed over it pretty quickly. Yeah, that's, so they should have been a bit more thorough with it because I'd still. Like, I, I don't know. Because obviously it comes out, but I don't know if he felt like because people can feel differently in relationships yeah. where they where they're at in a relationship. So yeah. I don't know. Maybe he felt like he wasn't up in that stage of a relationship. Maybe he thought it was just like dating type thing. Yeah. Like or going on a few dates, or you know, she thought it was like a full on boyfriend girlfriend thing. So I don't know. I wish there was more questioning happened with that. So I'll I'm never sure. know. Anyway, tweets. This one from at Daisy underscore Siri. Oh, Siri. <laughs> Siri. Um, me. The twins are boring. One of the twins gives a Cynthia attention. Me. Those twins are all right, you know. At this point, if any guy that comes in and actually genuinely likes Cynthia, 
is definitely gonna get some like good a, traction there. Good, yeah, get to like the next couple of weeks because everyone, like literally everyone on the audience, wants Cynthia just have someone else just talk to her. Yeah. Also, <clears throat> <laughs> oh here we go. <laughs> what's with all the guys coming in? Like like I said with the twins, <clears throat> exactly the same. You're not gonna get someone like just have someone different like a POC, a person of color, just come in. Even if it's for like a day or two. I'm surprised I haven't brought one in yet. To be honest, I thought there would definitely be yeah, one. We had a now. bet going we on. Had a, we have a bet happening at the moment. If, <laughs> if I, uh, no, let's keep the bet personal. We don't have to talk about this. Right, yeah. okay. Yeah. I don't remember what it was. Was it for a storm? I remember it. It's for a, it's for a Hungry Jack storm. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. That's, a lot, that's yeah. a lot of stakes, that's mate. A, that's a big All right, and my other tweet was... Um, <laughs> me if I hear Matt say cojones one more fucking time oh. and it's the guy with like the oh, veins yeah. popping out of his head that'll be up on your screen now you can see yeah. that one oh, geez, that was good rate that rate that bang and that is the tweets of the week watch you buy CBA <laughs> thank you for sponsoring yeah. their, their, their services work perfectly fine now yeah they're up and Apart running that short oh, uh, IT dysfunction happening on Thursday but, uh, All right, next mate, you're running this, you're running this up, up, joke yeah. dead, mate. Nah, it's not, dead. We got a certain amount of keywords to say in our right, list. Yeah. From CBA. Yeah. Technology is good. Everything. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Everything Continuing on, let's ignore him. <laughs> Discussion time, mate. This is where the right. juice happens. First, who do you want to talk about first? Matt and Vanessa. Is oh. that all? Oh, is who, do, who, like, so we just got Matt and Vanessa. So, okay, who are the couples with a couple of Yeah, that's what I want. So we got Matt and Vanessa. Yeah. Cass and Phoebe. Yeah. And opinions on Owen and Jesse. Yeah, let's go Owen and Jesse first because it's right. the least least juicy, I think. Yeah. Okay. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of Jesse, but I think Jesse is right. I also agree. Like last week I said I did not like Owen for some reason and it just became evident mm. right now. He's just pretty selfish, I think. Yeah, I'm getting... Yeah. Like, obviously, I knew this would sort of happen that I'd, like... Because I, I still think... I don't think he's... The, I'm, I'm restra- re- retracting my statement of one of the nicest guys in the yeah. villa. I still don't mind him. Yeah. But he's sort of, like, just floating in the middle for me now. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Some of the shit I'm like, yeah, fair. Like, he seems to, like, listen and take advice and stuff like that. that yeah. And, like, listens to Jesse. But... I don't know, man. Yeah, some of the shit he does, like the whole hideaway situation, I'm like, come on, mate. Like, it makes me think, is he just playing the game? And <clears throat> and with the truth bike as well. Oh, and yeah, like, the truth bike, you, yes. If you, uh, the, I can't remember the question, but I think it was along the lines of, if you love someone... Would you move... Would you move... He pretty much away. said, would you, would, you, would you move away from the Gold Coast if you fell in love yeah, with someone? Yeah, and he said no. And then when Jesse questioned it about... Question... Owen about it he said yeah if I love someone yeah he's like no well not right now because I'm not in love but yeah. the question wasn't right now it was like, if you were in love with someone yeah it just if you're, if you're in love with someone you probably do whatever it takes yeah I don't know you do well that's it man to like, make it work exactly but, um yeah I don't don't like him I don't know I there is I mean, something about yeah. him, hey. There is something, something about, about him. him. Something about him. A bit fake sometimes. He's a, he's a classic real estate agent. Oh, literally. Classic. When you said that, I, I think that's just dropped him more on my list. Yeah. I didn't realize he was a real estate agent. But, um, yeah. No, I, I, Jesse's not the best person either, but I don't think I don't Jesse's... Know. I don't I think, think she's been, the best person. To be honest, I think she's been right nearly every single occasion that I've come across. Like, I've agreed with her with nearly every single thing that's yeah. come up. So, that's like, her, her opinions on, like, him and, like, <clears> what he <throat> has done wrong or, like... Yeah. Like, oh yeah, there's not how many red flags. Yeah, does she need or whatever? I'm like, I'm, yeah, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put that question out to you. How many red flags means stop? Like in general for them. Nah, in general. How many red flags? I don't know. I feel like this sort of like leads into the whole Vanessa um, Matt yeah. thing. Yeah. For me, where, I'll like, be like yeah. if I hear a lot of shit from other people. I feel like it's like the whole the whole thing is like oh yeah once you hear someone tell you something about someone else you're like yeah. oh it could be true it could be not but yeah. when you start hearing it from multiple different sources you're like yeah. some of this has to be yeah. true like it can't all surely be fabricated yeah so but but all of this is tracked back from the twins 
Yeah. Because they were on the outside. They brought it through and then told Phoebe, Phoebe told Anna. Yeah, literally. Because I've seen what we've Chinese seen. Vips, Chinese whispers coming. Yeah. But, yeah. But I haven't seen... Like, before the twins came in, I haven't seen any thing about Vanessa online at all. There had been no... I don't know if you saw anything. Well, let's just say... This is the one person I think I've been right on from the very beginning. Matt. Is my... No. Oh, man, Vanessa. Right. I knew something was fucking up. I knew it. Let's See, just like, jump straight into that. I like Matt... I like Vanessa at the start. I... I had... Like, I feel like she was alright. Yeah. I, I don't remember what I actually completely said about it, but I remember saying, like, there's <clears> something, like, I just don't... Yeah. I just don't like... She just seems fake, man. And I feel like this week... It confirmed it for me. Pretty much. Yeah. I, I was looking on Twitter She's very and not manipulative many people, So manipulative And I was looking on Twitter And I was like No one's really talking about it I'm like How is no one Talking about Like <laughs> I guess because it. Everyone doesn't like Matt that much like, yeah. Matt has risen up so much In like the last two episodes Maybe because he's been on the Back end of the shit Yeah But he's I, like, I feel he's so he's sad he's for him man. such a child He, he is He, he fucking he's, he's And he's to grow some cojones mate Yeah And like He like goes off at her And then Three seconds later, he's like, I'm oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He, like, gives in, man. And it's exactly... This is why I was, like, sometimes I like Owen, because he's so right about this. Or he said, like... Um, Matt being easily... Matt being easily manipulated. And yeah. <clears throat> Vanessa is smarter than him. She yeah. knows how to work him. And I feel like she is just playing him completely. Like, she pretty much flipped the entire situation onto him. Yeah, yeah, he was like... Everyone's talking about Vanessa, but something must be wrong. And then she's like, oh, you didn't trust me, or you didn't back, me, back me up, or whatever. And the thing is, if you're in a relationship, you're always supposed to back that back person. Back the person up. I understand her, but... It, I, it is true, but... Have you guys... Defined, have you guys said that you're in a relationship? I don't know. I don't know if they have No, something. yeah, I guess it's a coupling. But the but, same thing is like... At the same point, it, it comes to a... Like, it comes to a certain, like point where you're like when when do I st- when do I always protect you and when do I believe what everyone else is yeah, saying yeah well that's it and especially now it's like a very the beginning of a relationship it's very raw you can't yeah. like have a 100% trust in the other person you're gonna get like and, and, and to be honest I think everyone I, mean, I don't know that's what I've been doing majority of the people that are coming are playing the game playing the game yeah, yeah. but I don't know something about I don't know something about Vanessa that I'm not I just hate how yeah I just hate how she didn't like literally Matt questioned her saying like pretty much like oh are you playing the game are you pretty much playing the game and she just completely didn't answer the question and just started crying and just flipped it straight onto him and was like how dare you say that like oh man and then the whole truth block everyone was going in and I'm like this is what this needs to happen like I feel like she's being outed she hasn't necessarily done anything like wrong wrong yeah. but the way she's like the way that Matt is the one chasing in this relationship that's I think. exactly what Owen said you, Owen and Adam both said that you've chased enough around chased her, her around. enough you need just, to sit back and let yeah, her do some fucking work but meanwhile yeah. she's saying I've always been there for you I'm always like doing you everything you're not you kissed Sam and went off to Sam while you were in a relationship with uh, and literally didn't say Matt. anything to him yeah just because I think I didn't like Matt really that much at that stage I just like didn't really care yeah. about the whole situation but now looking back at it that's so true man like, like at least Sam sort of said to Matt like by the way I'm yeah. talking to her but she didn't say shit to him about none of her feelings even though she's like oh so I've got to say the truth and you've got to you know be, be, <laughs> be one honest, or whatever yeah. be honest with each other she didn't say jack shit to him <clears throat> yeah I don't know I really I really feel sad for Matt I, he's really he's going up on me I think it's just because obviously yeah. he's been manipulated hard in this but um yeah also a small note about Adam and Cartier I did not like the questions yeah that one. they were getting in the truth why I felt so bad I felt him. I felt so bad for Cartier as well because obviously this is something important to her of course that's what, and that's everyone, what she's been labelled as mate in the show everyone else is getting questions like oh would you move down and like hype like yeah, other than, like, Vanessa and Matt, yeah. all the other questions have been pretty, like, moving-based or, like, something that... Yeah, that was a bad example of my part, because oh. that's a pretty big question as well. But, I don't know, I just, I just felt really bad for Cartier, because they just got together, 
they haven't really they haven't they have not touched on it at all they said like they haven't, we haven't really... we're not ready to talk about that yet. yeah and i just love how the, the maturity level even though they're <laughs> Adam 19. has like the, the brain of like a 19 year old, she's 19. 19 yeah. However, I feel like they're nearly the most mature in that house somehow. Yeah. Like, they're, that, they're taking I it slow. I felt bad about that. I feel like, oh, come on producers, you can do something better than that. But I love how they handled it, man. Like the way Kat, uh, they both went together and then Cartier was like, I just didn't want to have that conversation yet. And yeah. then he's like, pretty much said like, well, I'm, I'll support you with whatever. Like, yeah. And he's pretty much saying like, if I become to like really mm-hmm. like fall in love with you, then yeah um, <laughs> I'm um I'll, I'll come but I like I just won't be in it for the yeah the whole religious side of it but um, I like how she just sort of went okay we'll talk yeah. about that when we get to it yeah alright uh, what's and then, are we gonna go to Cass and Phoebe or Owen and Jess oh we don't we're, we're done mate we're so in Cass the, we're here we go alright I'm on team Phoebe alright I'm um, not you're not okay I feel like I, I feel like yours is the I'm the un, unpopular opinion here. Yeah. Really? Okay. Because all every month. Yeah. Oh yeah. Probably. Literally, the entirety of the online is like. I did not like so in the episode where Cass came back from the date mm-hmm. and they had a they had a talk on the bean ba- bags at the end. Mm-hmm. What did Phoebe say to make Cassie just fucking piss tears? She just lost it. Yeah, because she literally, lost it. Yeah, because Phoebe pretty much said to her, "Ah, oh, you're not in it for us. Um, it's pretty 100%. much over." She is not. She's not. She went out and then she came back. Went out, forced to go out, mate. She oh. wasn't like she was I'm so, gonna go out she was and so happy. Did you see the? Oh, you, can't, <laughs> mate, you can't just like. <laughs> yeah, she, she was so happy. Two dates, mate. I, I get it. They're stuck in the middle. They get to go out. I get. But she came back. Did not talk to Phoebe at all. She came back and did not, like, it, like normally when you're in a couple, you go out and you come back. And like, say, by the way, yeah, we're all good, yeah. How's it going? None of that happened. None of that happened. Straight away, and they just couldn't stop talking about the guys. And then, while Phoebe was downstairs with the boys, she went up and talked to, uh... Because he came and got her and said, can we have a chat? And they went up to the, the terrace. And, yeah, then, at, the, and then the other one, twin at came. At what point does Cass have to do something about it? Does Phoebe have to do everything? Phoebe did nothing there. That's, that's the whole point, mate. Okay. But she didn't go up and see her. Why is it always a one-way street, mate, that a cat no. had to go and see her? A cat they're, had to... they're in a couple. Yeah, exactly. They're, they're, it's not like a friend. It's a two-way couple. street, mate. They both fucked up, I think. I No, I think Cassie fucked up more than Phoebe. I don't. I think it's pretty pretty level. Pretty cut and dry. Yeah. I think, I think they're both fucked up. Who was it? Who was it that said, like, Adam? Was that Adam? One of them said, like, you both did yeah. stuff wrong. But the, the thing, thing is, who said that? The thing is, I felt like Cass was playing the game, the first couple. What was the what was the first couple? When I mean, they coupled up with Phoebe instead of coupling up with. Uh, well, she didn't get Jared. to choose. Phoebe chose. Phoebe chose. Yeah. <laughs> so I know. She, once again, she didn't get a choice. <laughs> yeah, but no, they, obviously she got a choice. They were talking about. Yeah, it of course. Yeah. Because she didn't want to get picked up. With, she didn't want to get coupled up with Gerard. Gerard. Jared. Jared. Yeah. And she didn't want to get coupled up with. Maurice, she was like, you know what, fuck it, I'll just pretend to be into you. And, like, they didn't even last a day, dude. They didn't last a day. How mental is that? Just give us, give her some time. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm fine with you going out, having fun, having fun, going out, meeting some guy. <laughs> going out, having some fun? Yeah. Like, having other guys interested in you. But just give some time and some effort to the person you're already coupled up with if it's uh, mm-hmm. an actual coupling not a friendship coupling mm-hmm. alright you want to hear my side of it now alright <clears throat> so before they coupled up they pretty much spoke to each other saying I'm pretty sure nearly the words exactly is like if we were to couple up together yeah. it's it's going to be very slow and if a guy and it's pretty much hanging out to see how things go because neither of them have been in a relationship with a girl yeah neither of them have done anything with a girl so it's going to be so bloody slow and they pretty much said to each other I remember one mentioning like I don't know which one it probably was Cass I can't remember it's pretty much saying like oh like if a guy comes in that yeah. you're attracted to like I'm, I'd be fine with it they pretty much you... agreed saying like yeah okay this is just going to be a very slow thing and then they, re- they, they recoupled and they got together everything yeah. was everything was good they were relaxed they weren't doing anything strong. It was the very beginning of a coupling. Yeah. It was pretty much, nearly pretty much friend, mostly friendship based because like, 
I had only kissed in a challenge and there wasn't anything there. Okay. Next, that fucking <laughs> night or whatever, the, the boy, boys get announced and then the next day the boys come yeah. in. So it was okay. like less than 24 hours but, they had together. The guys came in, both selected her. But are they her type? I think they Not according to everyone that knows Cassie. Hey. Which is Phoebe and some of the guys. <laughs> yeah, but Phoebe, I, that's what I didn't like either. Phoebe's like, they're not your type. How the fuck does she know what her type because is? Mate, they've been together for three days. Three days in the villa is like three weeks on the outside, dude. Mate, she would not know. Literally, only her friends would know or her family would know what her type oh, Probably not family, would be weird. But there's no way. They, may, they might but say, no, she, like, no, my type is... She's talked about it to us. About she, she wants someone that is tattoos and tall. That guy's... Both of them are tall. Yeah. Well, not tall. I mean, they're about Jaren's height. Mm-hmm. But no tattoos. One of them's got a tattoo, mate. The Tottenham FC. Tottenham, so yeah. if I get, like, a small dot on my chest, like a freckle, I'm like, oh, I'm a tattooed guy. Come like me, Cassie. No, it's not that. Yeah, but that's the... T- mate, you know, you realise you're not always going to go for your type, though. I know, you yeah. You have a type, yeah, and 99% of the time, you go for someone who's not your that's type. What I think, you're still that's what I think. That's why I think Cassie is not playing. She is playing the game. That's that, why I don't think she is. I think she is... Like... If another guy comes in, there's a high chance she might couple up with the other guy instead of giving Luke. Well, we'll see. This is the very beginning of a relationship. So anyway, yeah. they came in. They had forced her to go on coupling, and when she left, before she left, she spoke to Phoebe saying like, "It's just like a couple of dates. I'll see you like later yeah. or whatever." And then when she came back, I agree. She should have gone over to Phoebe. Yeah. She should have, like but didn't, she didn't. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, that was that was that was her fault. That part. <clears throat> However. Why isn't then all on Cass for the rest of the day to go to Phoebe? Why has Phoebe sat back and bitched about her for the entirety no, of the day? Because she's the one who knows what happened on the day. So Phoebe doesn't know what happened on the day? Yeah. Cassie should go and tell her. What do you think she <laughs> made out with him on the day? We don't know, because Cassie did come and tell Phoebe what but happened on the day. But I just don't like how Phoebe jumped to conclusions immediately and pretty much said like, Oh, she's not coming to see She doesn't like me anymore. Were they wrong? Yeah. Because Phoebe's the one that broke it up. Cass didn't. Okay. Cass didn't go, yeah, we're done. Phoebe's yeah. like, you know what? Like, after 24 hours, did yeah. not give it a chance at all. She's the one who didn't give it a chance. Just because two guys came in and snapped Cass on a date. Yeah, but mean no. That was... Did you see the body language, though, when the two guys Fuck came in? Mate, when are your body language with Rita? Hey, man. She's attracted to them. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah. The bo- like you can tell like she was like over the moon when she saw the two guys come in and all of them all, both of them were interested in you and you should have been like court, mate it must be nice to have <clears throat> two good looking blokes 100% I'm not I'm not disagreeing with that just give some give some like thought or some time yeah. to Phoebe I, I see that's what I agree with there that's but where I think Cat's fucked up in that not, part yeah but Phoebe should Phoebe gave her no chance though literally right after she's like yeah um, you didn't do this, and I just don't think we're right together. That's it. I'll, 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 she she I fucking shot you. herself in the foot. I agree with you. She didn't make an effort to go talk to. Cass. But I mean, like she, like but they could have gone on. It should be Cass's fault. Cass's job to go talk to Phoebe because she's the one who went on a date. Yes, I agree with that. Yeah. Part, so it, it should majority of the blame should fall on Cass. No. Yes. Yes. I agree. <laughs> That's a big, I agree. I can go. <laughs> no, I, it's just I don't know, man. Like. I feel like, yeah, Phoebe jumped to conclusions, gave it absolutely no chance, and then she started pretty much coming, like, she pretty much took things out of uh, perspective, yeah. like, with, oh, then she's like, oh, maybe Cass only did it because she didn't want to go home, because, oh, if I picked uh, Jared, then she would have gone home. Yeah. I'm like, fuck me dead. Yeah. Why are you thinking of all this really negative crap? <clears throat> And then bitching to everyone about it, rather than going to Cass and saying, this is the problem, even though she's so straight up. Yeah. And then, then at the very end, after she worked her way out the entirety of the day, coming to all these different conclusions, she worked herself up and said, yep, we're not right for each other. Yeah. All right. That's really, why I don't, that's why I don't get it. We're back in because we're running out of time. <laughs> but I agree that my point is, I think Cass is wrong and Jack thinks that Phoebe is wrong. So no, yeah. not really. I feel like they were both in the wrong. I, I feel like I they both fucked up. They both fucked up. Yeah. All right, are we going to talk about... Uh, are we going to answer the question or the thoughts that we got in our YouTube section? Yeah. That's, we might want to... Let's do it. What are your thoughts on um, the, the, the twins now, though? After, I like after the week. I like them. I think, I think they're good. Let's talk about the couples as well. Uh, 
I would I would put uh, Adam and Carty up top. Top, me too. Top and then tier. second, I put Anna and Josh. Oh, the new newbies. Yeah. There's no one else really. Yeah. Not much is happening with anyone else, is it? This is because I, I, I like Anna. I think Anna is really cool now. Um, and everyone else is just at the bottom. Do whatever you want. I don't give a crap. Right. But um, have you got our comment? Oh, yes, go. I've got it. All right, first comment. No, no, just, just start Brian, Davies. <laughs> no, no. Brian Davies, this is a direct shout out to you, mate. You coward. Yeah. Coming in absolute smack. I had, I went and DM'd him after this too. Yeah. After his smack saying, I immediately wanted to throw up. What? What, I, what, what do you say? I literally just said, mate, why are you hating? And what did he say? Oh, he's pretty much. <laughs> whoop. He's yeah. pretty much saying um, that the show's shit. And I'm like, mate, have you watched? And he said, no. And I was like. That's Everyone go to Ryan Davies and give him DM hate. And give him hate. <laughs> Hashtag, Ryan, Hashtag Ryan Davies is a scam Cal. artist. All right. And an actual good comment. Yeah. Um. Was prediction by Chloe. Something we didn't do last week. Yeah. And, we uh, did no predictions, and that was pretty bad on us. Yeah. But we will do predictions at the end of this. Hopefully. But here's here's Chloe's predictions. He says prediction. Maurice is gay. Yeah. <laughs> Matt turns crazy possessive. Oh, Owen gets boring. Okay. The only fun couples are Adam slash Cartier and the two bi girls. Yep. Uh, Cassie and Phoebe win and uh, stress out the baby boomers of Australia. All right. I'll, before you go, I'd love And to I commented back saying, this aged badly. <laughs> I'd love to hear Chloe. Is it Chloe? Yeah. Chloe. Chloe's thoughts on uh, Cass and Phoebe. What are your thoughts? Do you... Do you what have... Yeah, Ooh. this is a direct shout out to now you. You, you comment, comment. You comment uh, your what, thoughts. Are you team Phoebs or team Cass? Right. That? And hey, Maurice might be bi. I don't know, but he kissed every guy. Every guy. Every girl. girl yeah. And I'm and I'm pretty sure he would have kissed every guy if he had the chance as well. I don't know. He would take any action gay. at this point. I don't think he's gonna <laughs> take anything. He'll take anything he um, gets. Um, what's the other one? Uh, Matt turns crazy possessive. It's a complete opposite. There yeah, you go. literally. That Vanessa. Vanessa turned, went absolutely um, b- bitch mode. But yeah. Uh, Owen gets boring. He became a dick. <laughs> I mean, in my opinion, he became a dick. I don't know. Maybe he was boring. I don't know. There's not much happened with him though. Yeah. It was only him and Jesse type thing. I feel like he was in the wrong there as well. Yeah. Uh, the only fun couples are Adam and Cartier, Oy. Fair, and the two bi girls. That, yes. That went downhill very quick. Yep. One okay. day later. All right. Um, and then, yeah, Cassie and Phoebe will, will win. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Which yeah. I don't think is right. I think, no. I think if Adam and Cartier sing together, I think they might have a good yeah. chance. Yeah, everyone loves them. Right. The whole Twitter is full of love for them. Yeah. So. so let's do our next segment. Next segment, yes. Brought to you by Coles. <laughs> Get all your shopping all your done at Coles. <laughs> so CBA and Coles, shout out. We got a whole. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mate, stop running this. This joke is dead, mate. No, we, what, we are sponsored by them. So all right. All right. Fucking hell. Uh, all right. This is this is your segment, Rich. The Q and A. Well, you still haven't come up with a name. Oh, so, oh, mate. Give me any. Give me some thoughts, please. All right. Yeah. We don't have a guest. This time, too. Yeah, we were um, trying to get one, but... Yeah, because they all had... They were busy this... Today. <laughs> they said they were busy. <laughs> Some of your uh, friends, mate. The song is what... Chris Brown... Ba- Chris, Chris Brown? The artist is Chris Brown. Yep. song is Question. So I'm going to give I a lyric... I don't know what the song goes like. I'm going to give... Can we give, like, a, a quick... A quick uh, you made up your laptop, uh-huh. by the way. They boom, boom, some like angel dust. Hey, copyright. There you go. <laughs> yep, uh, I still don't know what song is. Yeah, that helped right. me know. Um, but anyway, yes. So I'm, I'm going to quote a lyric to Jack and he's got to say what couple I'm talking about. Yeah. So I was one out of two last week. Yeah. Even though I feel like the second one was a bit harsh. But anyway, we'll yeah. continue. All right. First one is pretty pretty simple, I think. Uh, it's, girl, i got a question for you. Can I get an answer? Is that easy? Yeah. Girl, girl I've, I've got, got a question, question for you. you. Can, Can I get an answer? That Vanessa? Yeah, there you go. Boom. Boom. All right, because obviously Matt was asking the question: Are you, you know, are you uh, committed? Pretty much. Are you not in a game? Are you, are you playing you a game? Playing game, and yeah. she didn't answer. So that's why I like, can't get an answer. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next letter is go. Just take your time. You're coming home with me tonight. Girl, take your time. 
Oi. Oi. I'm going to say Adam and Katya. Yeah, there you go. Taking two their two. time. Boom. 100%. 100, 100 mate. Then you've got two or you uh, three this week? I can make one up right now. All right, okay. Uh, <laughs> giving everything. You're giving everything tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you're giving everything tonight. Yeah. Giving everything. You're giving everything tonight. How is, mate? This is a, there's no way I'm going to be able to get this. You're giving everything. You're giving everything to that. Well, it can't be Jesse and Owen because he did not. He did the opposite of that. So yeah. I'm not going to say them. Giving everything. Giving everything tonight. Um. <laughs> one of the new couples, Anna and. It, it was the couple we saw at the end uh, that went. Oh my god. And breathe right into the ear. Oh know. my! Was it was it Cassie? No, it was, no Anna. It, was, it was Anna and Josh. No, it wasn't. Who was it? It was Vanessa and. It was Vanessa and Matt. Matt. Yeah, there you go. Well, she did well, uh, some interesting things. Risky happening. business. Risky business. Watch your calls. There you go. <laughs> she was like, "Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god!" <laughs> <laughs> and she breathed right into his mouth. Right into his mouth. It All was right, very, very beautiful. All right, great segment, two, mate. Yeah, two, two out of three for Dan. Mate, stop. We can't count that last one. We can't count that last that one. Was, that was pretty... We can't count that last that one. That was hard. Right. Like, God damn um, All right, easy. That's Bang. this week's episode. Bang, we've, we've, we've wrapped it up. That was, was some heat there, mate. That was, that was I'm, I'm interested to see... Well, you can't. I can't really grow my opinions on Phoebe anymore because she's gone. Yeah, I'd like to see how your opinions on Phoebe are. Just send us an email if you're too scared yeah. to write a comment. Yeah, if you're too scared to write a comment. Check or you can... Uh, Catch us on Twitter. Twitter or DM us. Or on uh, Instagram as well. Oh, I've got an Instagram said. account as well, but I don't know. I'm pretty in- inactive at the moment with that. Yeah. So right. sorry about that. But um, well, uh, predictions. We're gonna do our predictions. Oh shit! Jack. <laughs> <laughs> going good at this. Aren't we? <laughs> All right. So next week, girls are coming in. Yeah. So yeah, f- five new girls. None of them have given me anything. No to has say. a great appeal to me immediately. Nothing, uh, but I don't know what's gonna happen. So next what is it? What means that how many girls go? Is it like a castle or more? I thing? think I think it might be because then there's no way they're gonna put five extra people in a house. Yeah, and that in that small bedroom. Unless I feel like what they're gonna have like a day. Yeah, and then there's gonna be a recoupling again. All the people who aren't picked are eliminated. Well, are you gonna eliminate five, six people straight away? Well, how are they kind of like. I think they're gonna just bring in some boys as well. Oh, they're gonna bring in I think it's a bunch of boys as well. It's gonna be a Castle Moore situation. But all of so them in early. one house. So early. This yeah, I don't so know what's, I don't know what's going two, on. How long is it supposed to go? Nine weeks? Or? I thought it was nine weeks. It's yeah. like, how many episodes? Like 50 yeah. ish episodes? 50 divided by 5, 10. Yeah, nine episodes. Right, there you go. I was right. Yeah. But I don't I'm know. Not. Well, okay. Let's just say. I think, I, I think they'll, they'll make up some stupid drama for Adam and Cartier. Next That'd have to be because they're strong, man. So they will make up, and I think I'm hoping uh, Matt buns off Vanessa. Oh, I think everyone's hoping that, man. And picks a girl, well, picks one, one of the new girls. girls. Yeah. And Jared and Cynthia, I think Jared will give it a try because he's going to jump. He's going to jump from wagon to wagon and see what happens. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I feel like uh, with him, like I understand why he's doing it. Like his wrap up is like. I want to give it a chance, but he just doesn't want to force anything. Yeah. And I feel like once he's gone in a couple of them, he's realised like they're not when they're not like feeling each other type thing. Yeah. So I can understand that, but from like a like an out way looking in, he's been with four different girls in like the matter of what two weeks. Two weeks, yeah. Like that's pretty bad. But I feel like he's got somewhat decent reasoning for it. So I don't know. I still I still like Jared. I I think he's a good bloke. One of the yeah. nicest in the house. He's probably second on my list of nice guys. I don't know. I, I haven't. Yeah, I, my opinion about him has dropped for some least, reason. Your least favorite couple, other than Matt and Vanessa. As a couple, Matt and Vanessa, but as people, my worst is probably. Mine's Matt and Vanessa still. <laughs> as people, really. Yeah, I don't mind. Not Morris. Well, I like Cynthia. No, not not as a couple. Oh, as, oh, as, as individual individuals. Individuals. I still Vanessa is my least favorite in the house. Yeah. Maurice has is, is gone up one. Really? Yeah. Well, he hasn't really done anything. No, no, oh, you're talking about, okay. I, I mean, gone up one from last to second last. As in, okay, I thought you meant from the least favorite guy, least favorite girl. Oh, least favorite guys, probably, yeah. 
Probably yeah, I'd say Maurice. Still Maurice. And yeah. then least favorite goes probably Vanessa, but it's yep. pretty close between she, her and Phoebe, uh, her and Cassie. Really, you thought that badly of Cassie? That is <laughs> right so now. Weird. Right now, my ranking is Katia, Anna. Uh, who's the other two? Cynthia, Jesse, Cassie, and ah, Vanessa. fair enough. Yeah, okay. I feel like there's a big gap between last <coughs> and second last, though, for me. Because I don't really hate anyone other yeah, than the girl. Yeah, I don't 100%. hate Vanessa. But Even I mean, though I still, I still think Vanessa's quite good looking as well. Of course. Yeah. I feel like it's, you can't, you'd you be lying, <laughs> mate, if you didn't say that. But, mate, um, looks but, are nothing yeah. when you personalize shit. Alright, well, there you go. My personality is shit. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, any other predictions, mate? If someone was to, if someone was to go home, one Maurice. of the people... Maurice? Yeah. Do you think Cynthia will jump shit? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, There's I agree. The slightest option, yeah. Maurice yeah. is out. But new girls coming in. Will Maurice jump shit? What the shit? hell, man? What, is, what are all these like girls coming in? Will Maurice jump shit? Yes. I think he will as well. <clears throat> but none of the girls are going to go for it because they know what he's done. I don't know. I bet they've picked a girl that'll, that'll just that'll do whatever. Do or whatever. Yeah. yeah. To get that fame. Yeah. But, um, no. Nah. Over, overall... We didn't even... We didn't do any rankings for each episode. That yeah. was good. That was good. Overall, out of 13, 9.75 and a 10. And a 10 for me. <clears throat> yeah, hot, hot, spicy week of drama, but I just, I'm just a bit scared to see how other weeks go because they've used up all their They've used up all challenges. the big ones. What are the big ones coming? The tweets. The, the tweets. tweets. There's always that's like the a fan that's the interaction. Yeah. That's the big one that's coming up. But apart that, from that, Surely they can't do that for a long time yet. No, they can't. Because that's, like that's like the spice when you drop end the game, end. Endgame stuff. Endgame to get relationships on the yeah. shaky side. Anyway. Sweet. Right, shout out to the six people that liked the video. Yeah, six. I wish we could like see who likes the videos. Yeah. It's a bit annoying that it doesn't show. Shout out to the six people and to the zero subscribers we gained last week. Yeah. Thanks for Big the ups. There you There's go. There's no 10, 10 subscriber special yet. Yeah, all right. Just, just keep, keep, keep subscribing. We can get an iPhone giveaway. If... We get 10. I don't know, hopeful. An hopeful. iPhone giveaway. Yeah, yeah an iPhone. SE. Yeah, it's like the, the, the first one. Shh, let's, not, let's not talk, let's not oh, discuss sorry. details right here. Alright. <clears throat> All right. Right. Well, thanks Thanks for being here, Rich. It's all good, happy to be here, happy to talk Love Island. Yep, good, another good chat. NBA season's coming up, so if you, go on, if you guys want to talk about NBA, just let I'm sure there's a lot of NBA fans <laughs> that are listening to this right now. Alright, all right. well, um, we'll uh, c- catch you next Sunday. Next. Next Sunday night? Yep, Sunday night. Alright, cheers. Thanks everyone. Peace! Yep. <laughs>